crazy hair but I am in the process of sort of curling it because today I got invited to a party it's like a birthday party and it's a costume party and I'm supposed to dress up as something that starts with the letter of my name so J did I did that sentence make sense I just woke up and I woke up with one of my neighbors music yeah gonna have my coffee quick breakfast just get ready and head down to the city center to look for last minute costume um that's what we're gonna be doing today you're gonna be joining me in my get ready with me part so I'll see you in a while I'm all ready this is what I'm wearing Ooh, it's kind of messy I'm sorry this is what I'm wearing this is my Harry merch or my Aaron's bag at this point because it's so big and fits pretty much most of the things that I need to take. Now I open my hair, it's very curly, but since I need to leave immediately, I've just tied it like in a bun, put it up like this. So yeah, let's go look for a costume, get some stuff for the party. Let's go. Groceries. I need to charge my phone. I'm just gonna eat ooh, some leftover spaghetti, and I am gonna be a little late for the party. But then again, I don't know if there's anything like late for a party. Do you get it? Like I don't know. It just in my head, it's like oh, the party starts at so and so, so you come anytime after that. Is that just me? I don't know. Unless unless you're Dutch, I guess, because the Dutch like things on time. But usually, I feel like parties are parties. Like there's no time as such when you have to reach there. So I couldn't really find. Oh, my battery's dying. Couldn't really find any vest. Oh, I'm trying to be Jack Sparrow if I hadn't mentioned that already. I am gonna start off with this shirt first. I have brown boots, but they are like knee-high boots. I don't know what I'm gonna wear on the bottom. Got myself this hat. Thank God, like this is gonna save my ass head my head so i guess it's supposed to go like this right i didn't even check it out in the store but i think this is gonna save my costume costume my costume quite a bit i just bought like this long red shirt that i could wrap it around my head like a bandana like he does and around my waist i bought like a huge belt too but these are all from like costume stores and Primark so they didn't cost much I got black pants on wait, you can't even see the whole thing I feel like it sort of works it's all in the makeup now okay, so I'm trying to get the hairstyle right he has like a red bandana or something across his head and then there's a little bit of hair coming out as well so there's like this thing across his head but there's also a little bit coming out of his head like that so I got this slot from the costume shop and I'm just gonna cut it a little bit because even if I'm folding it, it's a bit too thick to be tied around my head. So yeah. Okay. I don't know how that transition was, probably crappy, but this is it. I'm just gonna like try to tie it around like this. I kind of look like, I forgot her name, but the the, the, the girl from uh, the Hunchback of Notre Dame. So, okay, I'm just gonna put this around. Yeah, no, I'm gonna need a mirror for this, I'll be back. Okay. This is how it kind of looks. I don't know why, but I feel like I look more like Will, like Orlando Bloom, especially once I put a mustache on, I don't know. Okay, I forgot to like film. 
how it looks, but hopefully I'll put pictures. But I'm kind of getting late for the bus. And now I realize I have to get on the bus and the train dressed up like Jack Sparrow. Didn't think this true, but you know what? Whatever at this point, I don't care. <laughs> at least I took my hat off. Yeah. Everyone thinks she's a cowboy instead of Indiana Jones, so we're trying to make her whip. <laughs> Finally made her a whip. Let us know in the comments if you think she looks like Indiana Jones or not. <laughs> You're gonna be in my vlog. No wonder why you're so social. Today you're coming to Amsterdam with me. Crappy cinematography. I'm sorry. I'm super tired. According to my walking app, I've walked over like 15,000 steps. Anyway, they just put the street lights on now. It's kind of getting late. Actually, no. It's just winter time, so it looks like it's getting late. The reason why I'm in Amsterdam is like spontaneous. Like, I decided this last night that I want to go out. I don't want to waste another sunny day. It was a good sunny day today. But then again, I didn't want to stay in my city all the time and I thought, you know what, let's just go explore Amsterdam a bit more I've been seeing it all over my TikTok as well but then I kind of woke up late and I was like, maybe I shouldn't go but then I was like, this is a perfect opportunity to go today because the public transports are like on strike from tomorrow onwards I had a pretty good day I went to Waterloo Plain, Waterloo Market it's like a flea market thing and I finally found the red leather jacket slash coat it's like a long leather jacket that I've been looking for pretty much everywhere since I was in Spain and I finally found it I mostly went vintage shopping and I went for some book shopping as well yeah I'm so tired now could you tell Sometimes I like to hike up mountains just to see how crazy small we are. So in this world. Hello vlog. Guess where I'm sitting? Does the background look Actually, it might just not even like look familiar to you guys at all But I'm sitting on the bench where they shot The Fault in Our Stars Where Ansel and Shailene, is that her name? Where the two actors, they when they went to Amsterdam 
Yeah, this is the bench that they sat on and it has like these locks as well and a few stuff written all over it I think probably from fans I feel like they actually replaced the original bench but whichever bench gets placed here is always like decorated so today I was like, you know what, let's, let's go do things and I just had to get out of the house because past few weeks months even maybe all i've been doing is applying for jobs i thought you know what i'm not gonna be a sore loser i'm gonna go explore a new city or in a bigger city like there's just something about big cities that i like i'm a city girl i thought amsterdam has so much to offer and i've never really like explored it properly so i was like this is the perfect time to just go around stroll around amsterdam there's just something about big cities that i like and that i think is what is missing whenever I come back to the Netherlands I don't live in like the biggest cities so I feel like that sort of gets to me I love big cities but yeah when I came here earlier that during the day people were sitting on it I wouldn't say I'm sitting at the same place where Ansel Aragorn and Shailene sat but same location Boxing your room, it's not like you to learn. 